Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Side Effects creators of Houdini. So the last time we heard about Houdini, we saw any public announcement from them was sometime last year and that was Houdini 18.5 and lots of you guys have been wondering what happened to the folks at side effects today they're making an announcement of the upcoming version of houdini 19. so houdini 19 is coming and to be honest this is coming with a whole lot of things and it is what calling a release and with that said let's take a look at some of the things that you will be getting with houdini 19. starting off there are lots of surface operators for this one and we're going to kick off by talking about the particle trail surface operator so for those who like to create things like sparks fireworks, rain, this surface operator is like the best thing you've ever wanted to use. A simple node and all the things you need to tweak are right there. There is also the pyrobust source and the debris source. This now supports packed objects and it's easier to emit dust and secondary debris from rigid body when doing your simulation. There is also the volume deform node that actually takes advantage of a path deform node and easily deforms cached volumes for simulations as well. So for those that are thinking about making stylized simulations that deals with pyro, this is something that you would definitely love. And while we talk about pyro, there is a pyro solver node that has been completely redesigned and cleaned up with a much nicer looking user interface. And furthermore, there are some new interesting set of presets that you can now set up and render in Karma with a simple click. And most cases, you may want to also create sprite sheets from these pyro effects or maybe from these simulations and render these things or simply use them for your games. The sprite sheet can now be generated directly from the viewport with the normal and velocity vectors baked into the volumes. So in case you're trying to use this for things like Unreal Engine or maybe you just want to ship this and use it for tools like Unity, this is something that is super easy. And for those that are thinking about creating even way more cooler stuff, right now you can even do some very very amazing things with Houdini owing to the fact that Tiny Effects, which is the rigging and animation framework and toolset that can easily allow you create and edit characters on the geometry level, has huge support for secondary animation. So there is now a support for secondary animation when working with Tiny Effects, and of course there is a brand new Ragdoll Solver and Ragdoll Constraint. And for those that are into motion capture, this Houdini version, which is Houdini 19, will be one of the best that you've ever had. Motion capture can now be live streamed directly into Houdini with support for tools like Vicon, Xsense, Rococo, Facewear, Unreal Live Link, OptiTrack, and Perception Neuron. And this makes it even way easier for Houdini users to capture, tweak, and publish animated content on the fly. And for those that would love to do grooming stuff, Houdini 19 is coming up with a whole lot of things. Building on the already existing powerful grooming tool sets, Houdini 19 will be shipping with a groom guide surface operator that would allow you to do your grooming operations with a single sop for quick and easy creation, interaction, and boot styling of your hair and fur. Houdini is known all over the world for its world-class simulation tools and with the introduction of volume few years ago, simulation in Houdini is way more easier, flawless and also extremely smooth and Houdini 19 will leverage of that and it will offer a volume brush for easy interactivity with grains and fluid. Now the volume grain solver that uses GPU accelerated neighborhood searching for significant accuracy and speed and that's not all because right now once you're working with Houdini 19, volume now supports simple fluid effects with viscosity and surface tension alongside with the support of rigid body that interacts with other elements in the system. Simulation has never been easier and making simulation in Houdini from Houdini 19 upwards will never be the same. Layout artists can now take advantage of the new updates coming to Solaris and Kama to do the most. From importing your models with reliability and ease, assets can now be converted to USD with materials and thumbnail with fewer clicks. And with a brand new set of brushes that comes with Houdini 19, placing multiple objects around your scene can now be done with a lot more convenience. So with a place brush, multiple assets can now be conveniently placed around your scene. And for those looking for quick population, the fill brush can grant you all that wish with respect to painting on assets. And also coming with this release is the scale, orient and notch brushes for additional tweaks once you're populating assets around your scene. Now at this point, layout artists will have so much fun as they can now easily scale, orient, notch and also populate assets 
anyhow they choose within their scene and not bother so much about performance. And coming with Houdini 19 is the background plate and this allows renders to be sent to the background with a preferred Hydra delegate of choice. So depending on the kind of thing that you're working on, you can easily send a render to the background and simply let that work while you focus on the things that matter. Hoodie 19 is also coming with a support for Material X for both Kama, XPU and also CPU. Furthermore, Houdini 19 will also be coming with a dedicated Unreal Engine 5 plugin that supports Houdini Engine, a new redesigned workflow for geometry layouts and crowd system, support for multi-layered FBX for textures and other elements, enhanced skeleton blending, support for Python 3.7 that will be coming by default, and also there is a muscle tissue and simulation set of tools that will be coming to Houdini 19 that is currently in its beta. Now this promises to be leveraging on the already existing realistic performance that Houdini brings to the table. And for those thinking about modeling and geometry, there is a redesigned curve drawing with Bezier handle and corner handling. So that would make you drawing curves in Houdini extremely, extremely clean. And of course, you would also notice that there is also a very nice and easy to work with slicing tool. So there is a poly slice that is now available or that will be coming with Houdini 19. And of course, there's an interactive curve editing that is also embedded in any HDA, which is Houdini digital asset that you'll be exporting to Unreal Engine or Unity or even to Maya. And for those that are exploring or that would like to explore VDB, there is also a VDB extract population and merging tool that will be coming to Houdini as well. And of course, you would also notice that the radial menu for Houdini 19 has also been rewritten as this now has a pretty cool look for faster and rapid performance. And of course, there is also a task node. So there is a task operator node that will be coming with Houdini 19 and this uses this specialized task operator node to automate population of layout assets within a gallery or within the gallery you're working with. So this is definitely going to be very, very useful for those that are into layout, just in case you would like to sort of organize or kind of have your tools probably populated. This would be very, very useful. And when we speak about things that would be very useful, there is also the standalone camera that will be running in USD view. So this would also be very useful for those who like to preview USDs, you want to render them. This is also going to come in extremely, extremely handy. So this is more like it for those who like to come through and check out Houdini 19, probably you want to see some more stuff about Houdini 19. Then you can simply go over to the link in the description or simply go over to sidefx.com and it will bring you right here. So you can take a look at the release dates of some of the interesting reviews that will be happening. And Houdini 19 will be having a two days of presentation by artists and developers highlighting many of the cool features and new ones that will be available in Houdini 19. So these presentations will be available on October the 18th, 19th and also on the 21st. You can find them on the VIEW conference. So I'm also going to put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check out the program within the VIEW conference and you can even see some more stuff just in case you would like to follow up. And for those who like to catch these things on YouTube and actually watch them live on YouTube, this will be available on the 18th, 28th and also the 29th of October. And of course, you can see what topics will be covered and you can join whatever session that actually pleases you. So this is more like it. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you've always wanted to get into Houdini, this seems to be like one of the best times that you can get into Houdini so you can take advantage of this powerful procedural tool and start creating some amazing stuff for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.